The North Hills was rocking tonight. It's a backyard barbecue like none other. How about Ario Speedwagon and Casey and the Sunshine Band in your neighbor's backyard? It was a star-studded charity event that rocked away that neighborhood. About a thousand people were there. Paul Martino has the story. The fun is winding down here. Ario Speedwagon about to get on their bus and take off after a night of partying in a quiet neighborhood here in Pine Township. They had a lot of fun, but they also raised tens of thousands of dollars for charity. It was fun. Pat and Debbie Hansen are hosting a party for more than a thousand people tonight. And did I mention rock legends Ario Speedwagon are playing? It's a big ticket event, and when all is said and done, they'll raise more than $100,000 for five local charities. For those who paid for the high price ticket, they got to meet and greet local celebrities like KDKA anchor Christine Sorensen. Who's ever heard of having bands like this in someone's backyard? It's pretty unbelievable. Comedian and radio personality, Jimmy Crenn. We're like in heaven. Bruno San Martino, to my left, Donnie Iris to my right, and listen to KC and the Sunshine Band. It doesn't get any better than that. KDKA Radio is one of the sponsors of this giant backyard rock festival. This is extraordinary. Take a look. You know. And they honored wrestling legend Bruno San Martino who couldn't quite believe that this was happening in somebody's backyard. When he says in the backyard, and I heard how many people, I said, well, what kind of a backyard do you have? He <laughs> says, when I came over here, I said, this is not a backyard, this is a park. It was an amazing event that consumed the neighborhood. For the concert promoter, it was no easy task. It had to house two major first-class headline acts, and... Uh, it's like putting a, a, a big pair of shoes in a little shoebox, and we made it work. KDKA sports anchor Bob Pompiani summed it up best. This is what's good about America. A guy like Pat Hampson and his wife Debbie are generous enough to give back to so many local charities, and to do it in a fun-filled way is unbelievable. Tickets could run you into the thousands of dollars. They call it CareFest. And they raised over $100,000 for organizations like the Butler Healthcare System. It's about the Warrior Foundation, Allegheny Health Network, the Northern Regional Emergency Services, and a lot more. And man, it was a great time. In Pine Township, Paul Martino, KDKA TV News.